Captain. Flight crew, please prepare for departure. to keep this this scene a little mellow so today is currently october 2nd i don't know when i'll be able to post this video obviously because it's not public yet in the city that i'm going to i'm gonna obviously reveal the team that i'm on because by then you already known by then the contract is actually three months so i'm going in basically as what you would call a medical signing so essentially the team had an injury and they have an opening so now they need a player that happens to be in my position so i'm going there from october until december i know a lot of y'all might be thinking okay well what's next after this and of course it's i don't know however um the goal is to go there to compete do my job as i intend to do and for more doors and stuff to open because of that and I'm looking to go to better leagues and better places. So I'm hoping that this will be the stepping stone to show teams that I'm back after being injured and having played my last um, game in this league since April. A lot of y'all already know the story. If you don't, check out the last video where I explain exactly what happened and I broke everything down for y'all. But check it out and you'll know exactly why. It's October and I'm just signing my contract. The contract this time comes with an apartment as usual. Um, with two bedrooms and also I used to get my car which is always standard usually in France and of course the car is automatic because like I said in the past your boy cannot drive those sticks yeah. I was able to speak with the coach and obviously introduce myself of all of, of course before I did sign the contract and essentially he wants me to come in to pick up a lot of slack because the player that they actually lost was one of their top players I just want to be a part of the group and bring great things to the table for everybody to be successful you know I feel like that'll be my job and that'll be my role according to the coach. fears of all time is holding this camera up to my face that's why I always try to find a secluded area and then do my vlogs you feel me I'm doing this for y'all because I love y'all probably about into the video of course every time I cross the border I always get a hard time it don't matter where I go I could be going to Canada I could be going to the US I could be going to France Germany don't matter I always get a hard time like this guy holding me up asking me all type of questions showing him my contract all these different things every time but anyway obviously made it through second thing tmi these long flights bro they always give me gas like hella gas i don't even know what to say like i've been trying the ginger ale i try to drink tea i just just be gassy bad so anyway i want to give you all a quick rundown on how quick things changed for me um, and shifted in like since the last video I posted of course. On Tuesday my agent hits me up and tells me about a potential opportunity and, and I take it as just you know cool you know I, I spoke to him I told him like I'm ready to start looking at potential places now did my time trying to do my rehab and what's not I'm ready to be back in the middle of October so he hit me up on Tuesday. When NSA comes, I'm speaking to the coach, but only through text. And we just do a formal introduction. He wants to know where I'm at in my process, if I'm able to play, if I'm not able to play, what's going on. So I gave him my honest answer. I told him, hey, in about two weeks, I feel like I'll be ready to go. And so I didn't sugarcoat it. I don't, I don't recommend lying to none of these people because you still got to show up there and play. So I told him, hey, I need some time, but I, I'm right at the end of being able to play. So Thursday comes and my agent is now giving me details of a potential contract. 
this point, I'm already saying, hey, I like this opportunity a lot. Like, this could be a big deal for me. So I'm already leaning towards this. Now, he's telling me, hey, if you do decide to go, they want you there by the end of the week. Mind you, it is Thursday. Like, I'm like, what? The, the, the end of the week is, is, is tomorrow or Saturday. Like, what? But meanwhile, I'm trying to make sure the details of like, even before getting a contract, I'm trying to make sure everything is sorted out. Friday comes and I finally get the contract details. And now I'm at a point where I, I'm going to say yes to the contract because I like what the offer is. Instead of me leaving on Saturday, they tell me I'm going to leave on Sunday. So I went out to dinner with my sisters and stuff to say our proper farewells and what's not. It was a nice time and what's not, but that's just an example of how quick it happens. Like, that was in about five days. I was in a whole, like, I'm in another country in just five days, like, since getting that first interest it wasn't even an offer yet it was just interest that's the cool thing about this job for sure you really don't know what could happen when you're looking for an opportunity it could come in a second or it could take forever i'm finally back and i'm able to do what i love again like this feels like i'm going back home like it doesn't feel like anything foreign you know what i mean we have one more stop in the video and this is when i will arrive in france and i'll be giving the last bit of details to cap this video off the right way Hope y'all liking the video so far and this new format, you know, the vlog with information. I'm trying to go for that feel for this one. Hope y'all enjoying. If you are, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and see you on the bit. Okay, guys, finally made it to France. I did about 24 hours of travel just now, no lie. And I slept maybe an hour or two because I don't sleep on planes, bro. I never, I can't get comfortable. And for some reason, I just can't fall asleep. I tried sleeping pills in the past. I still would stay awake and just be drowsy the whole time. So the problem is really me. I'm in a hotel right now. If you ever come to Europe, it is not like US hotels. It's not regulation, it's much smaller. This is what you're gonna get over here. It's letting you know. So when you go and you go to Paris and the hotel saying $400, $300, $200 a night, and you expecting a US size standard room, it's not what you're gonna get. You're gonna get this. Yeah, that's what you're gonna get. So be used to that. But anyway, I'm in the city, outside the city actually. I don't know much about Lyon, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be honest. I don't even know if I'm saying that right. Lyon, I do know it's one of the biggest cities in France. I also know that it's beautiful. I look online, I do a little search up, and I was very surprised with what I saw. Like, I mean, we think about it as one of the biggest cities, so of course they have a lot to offer. I know it's like an industrial city, and I also know this is the capital city for food. I'm pretty sure in my video when I talk about the things I love about France, I didn't mention the food because I don't like the food here. I just being honest. Sorry to all my French people. I know y'all think y'all food is superior and what's not. It's really, really not like that. You have to pay too much money for a good meal here. And when you do pay a lot of money for it, sometimes it's still a miss. I've had that experience, unfortunately. I'm excited to try out the foods, try out the sights, you know, gotta have the camera going, they make sure y'all follow my, my photography Instagram so you don't miss the pictures that's gonna be coming out of here. At underscore will shoot. Don't, don't, don't miss out. Make sure that you tuned in for that. But other than that, honestly, I don't have much else. It's been a long day, a little tired. I opted to just come to the hotel and get some rest. Like, I need to sleep. I'm just excited for this opportunity. Like I said, when we were in Germany, Few seconds ago like this all happened so quickly they let me take my time and take the steps i need until it's time to go in the court which is nice i'm just going to take full advantage of the situation like i said i don't know when i can post this video because i can't post it until the team makes the signing public but it's still it's technically now monday now <laughs> if you made it this far i really appreciate you for sticking through to the end so make sure you leave a like comment, subscribe, you know the deal. Check out all my social media platforms and all that. Check out my website, all that. I'm gonna be updating the website as well, adding some cool stuff there so y'all don't wanna miss that, all right? I try to do something a little different, you know, to keep it moving, keep it interesting, while of course still delivering information. That's what I'm gonna be trying to do, like, especially with my game day vlogs, trying to answer a question or something of that nature. I haven't figured it out yet, but I'm gonna figure that out. Don't worry, I got y'all, I got y'all. But I hope y'all enjoyed everything. Love y'all. Till the next video. Peace.